Okay, we're going to look at the last couple of trig rolls, which are for secant and cosecant. Okay, so let's state them first, and then I'm going to derive one of them. So derivative of secant is secant times tangent. <coughs> Excuse me. Derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. So you can kind of see how it's a very symmetric pattern here. Okay, so let's take, let's derive the second one this time. Okay, so let's remember that we have cosecant. This means one over sine. Okay, so we can take the derivative using the quotient rule. We have gf prime minus fg prime over g squared. So f is 1 and g is sine. f is on top, g is on the bottom. Okay. So we have g is sine of x. f prime is going to be the derivative of 1, which is 0. Okay. So f, we get 1. And the derivative of sine is cosine. Okay, g squared is going to be sine squared of x. All right, let's clean this up. The first part is going to go to 0 because it's you're multiplying by 0. The second one, we're going to get negative cosine over sine squared. Okay, so I'm going to check, and it's like... Oh, but the answer should be negative cosecant x cotangent of x. But we'll get there. We just need to rewrite this a little bit. So we're going to rewrite it. We're going to split it up the sign. We're going to split up the sign at the bottom. So we have negative cosine x. And sine squared means sine of x times sine of x. All right. And I'm also going to write the cosine as cosine times 1. So we're going to split this into a product of two fractions. We're going to say negative cosine x over sine x minus 1 over sine x. So kind of just like working in reverse of what we wish, would usually do. But this is convenient because we can see that negative um, cosine over sine is negative cotangent, and 1 over sine is cosecant. So this is cosecant. Let me write that a little bit better. Okay, so this part is cosecant, and this part right here is cotangent. Okay, so we get negative cosecant cotangent as our answer, which is what the rule says. All right, derivative of secant is derived a very similar way. We just start with secant is 1 over cosine and go through the same process. Okay, let's do some examples. Some of these new rules and some old rules. So part A x squared minus secant x plus 1. First part is power rule. We get negative 2x. Second part, right, derivative of secant is secant tangent. So negative secant tangent of x. And derivative of 1 is 0. That drops out. So we're done. All right, let's look at part b. Okay, part B, I want to rewrite that last term. We have 3 cosecant x plus 2x to the minus 1. So we, wanna, we don't want fractions. We want to bring it to the top. You could technically use the quotient rule on that, but I think it's like too much trouble to use the quotient rule just for that, especially when you can make negative powers. Okay, so let's take the derivative. So f prime is going to be negative 3 cosecant cotangent from the new rule that we learned. 
and derived. And the second one is going to be negative 2x to the negative 2. Okay, and I'll just leave it like this. You could turn that second part into a fraction if you want. But I'm like, I don't want to make the room. All right, let's look at C. Okay, so C, I can use the quotient rule, but I'll show you how to use the product rule on some of these problems. Like a lot of quotient rule problems, you can make into product rule. Okay, so I'm gonna write this as, because I have x to the bottom, I can bring it to the top as x to the negative one, and then the secant next to it. Okay, so notice I made it into a product rule, f and g. All right, so f is x to the negative one, f prime is negative x to the negative two. g is secant of x, g prime is secant of x tangent x. All right, so when I write this as g f prime plus f g prime, we get negative x to the negative 2, secant x, plus x to the negative 1, secant x, tangent x. Or, negative 1 over x squared, secant x, plus 1 over x, secant x, tangent x. All right, let's move to the next one. All right, next one, I'm going to stick with the quotient rule because it's not it's easy to bring something up that's like two terms. So here I have like a single term in the, the denominator. It's easy to bring it up as a power of x. This one is a bit more complicated, so quotient rule is probably a good idea. So this is going to be my f and this is going to be my g. So let's write it. We have g f prime minus f g prime over g squared. All right, g is one minus secant. f prime derivative of tangent is secant squared. And minus f, which is tangent. And then g prime one drops out secant is secant tangent, and there's a negative here, so negative secant tangent over 1 minus secant all squared. Okay, so we have secant squared minus secant cubed plus secant tangent squared over 1 minus secant squared. This is good enough. All right. Okay, let's look at the next one. Okay, so next one, we can look at it as a product rule. Here's my F, here's my G. Okay, so we need g f prime plus f g prime. Okay, so g is one plus cosecant x. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. Okay, plus f, which is cosine. And derivative of g, one drops out. For the cosecant, we get negative cosecant x cotangent x. Okay. So negative 1 plus cosecant x times sine of x minus cosine x cosecant x cotangent x. That didn't do much, but here we go. We just sort of took those negatives in front. All right. Let's do part F. 
Okay, part F, secant squared. So secant squared, we want to rewrite it, this as secant x squared. And now we're going to use the power rule. Okay, so power rule says take the power down to secant x to the 1. And then we take the derivative of secant and multiply it here. So the derivative of secant is secant x tangent x. Okay, so we end up with two secants next to each other, two secant squared x tangent x. Let's look at G. This is a product. Here's my F, here's my G. And we follow the product rule, which is GF prime plus FG prime. Okay, so G is cosecant, F prime is e to the X, cosecant X. And then f is e to the x, and derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. So e to the x cosecant of x minus e to the x cosecant x cotangent x. All right, let's look at this last problem. This is a product rule. Here's my f, here's my g. So we need to do g f prime plus f g prime. Okay, f prime is 2x, g is secant x. Okay, f is x squared, and derivative of secant is secant x tangent x. And there we go. All right, so we are done with examples for derivatives of secant and cosecants with other rules thrown in. Okay, so we covered all the trig functions, kind of saw how they were derived and how to use them in a bunch of examples.